New tonight and only on Fox, a 41 year old ex con is already parole eligible. This is just four months after being sentenced to 12 years for fleeing from a deadly crash. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live from the courthouse with this exclusive Randy. Rossi, we first reported on Oscar Soto in a breaking bond report back in 2022. He was an ex-con on probation, but still got a $15,000 bond for killing someone. It's just heartbreaking to live with every day, knowing that you don't have your brother with you. My kids adored him, and they always um, saw him as a second father figure. Hi, my name is Ael Cavazos. When he was 11, Ael Cavazos wrote a letter to Oscar Soto, the man who left his 39-year-old uncle, Arthur Montebayer, to die alone on the side of a road. Now living this horrible life without my uncle as a kid, having to deal with all of this grief and sadness he caused, this is not a nice feeling to have a hole as big as a basketball in your heart. In June of 2022, Soto crashed his truck into Montemayor's motorcycle. He committed a crime, he ran the red light, and he just left them there. Arthur's sister Patricia was in court last November when Soto pled guilty to failure to stop and render aid. He wasn't remorseful, he wasn't you know, um, affected by what happened. He was just there with a grin in his face. Four months after he gets sentenced to 12 years, He's already in the parole review process. He's up for, as right now, as we speak, he is eligible to be released on parole. How's that even possible? Because it's labeled as a nonviolent crime, you only have to do one fourth of your sentence. That includes the time you served in county jail, plus your good time credits. So all he had to do is get three years worth of time served in good time to be parole eligible. Not even Four months later, he's up for parole. It's just this, you know, something atrocious. Is that justice to you? No, it isn't. It isn't because this is why a lot of repeat offenders get a free pass and they go out there into society and they'll do it again to someone else. Patricia Montemayor will go before the parole board next month in hopes of keeping Soto behind bars. Reporting live from the courthouse, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.